Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to bring you a brand new series that we're going to be starting here at Montview. This one's going to be focused on particularly challenging or technologically complex tutorials. So this is going to be geared towards those of you that are perhaps installers, maybe you guys just want to gain a better understanding of your system, or those of you that really want to push your cameras to their absolute limits to see what they're capable of doing. So, follow along, this is going to be episode one of Montevue Masterclass. For this episode, we're going to be going over PTZ activation. To describe this function, it's best to show you. So for this example, we're going to be going to an overhead view of our parking area, and we're going to mount a PTZ to the roof. We're also going to mount a fixed angle bullet camera to the west side, and a fixed angle bullet camera to the east side. PTZ activation works by triggering tripwires that exist within the fixed angle view to move the PTZ to specific locations called presets. So when the car crosses the tripwires, it triggers the PTZ activation mechanism to tell the roof camera to zoom in to the entrance to the lot. Similarly, when a person crosses the east side tripwire, the PTZ moves to that location after being triggered by the PTZ activation. After no more action and the camera is now idle, it will return to its original preset to overwatch the parking lot. Now, we're going to give you guys a real world example of that by checking out what's recorded on the NVR. So for this one, the bottom left is our west side, the bottom right is our east side, and the top screen is our PTZ. So we are going to see a UPS truck leave our parking lot and it's going to trigger that tripwire. Then you'll see our PTZ camera moves over to zoom in. Then in just a second, you're going to see me exit the door on the bottom right camera. And I'm going to cross that tripwire and activate the PTZ to turn towards my location. So as you can see, it works successfully. Now after it sits for about a minute, and I'm going to highlight that time up in the upper right, the camera is going to return to its original preset just until it's activated again. Now that you guys have seen PTZ activation in action, it's time to set it up for yourselves. So, first step is we're gonna go to your NVR's live view. All right, so for our first objective, we need to set up PTZ presets. These are locations that your PTZ is going to move to when it is triggered by the tripwires from the other cameras. So to start this up, we need to select the PTZ section up top. I've got mine chosen, you can see the green surrounding it. I'm gonna right click and choose PTZ control. So the first preset I'm gonna set up, this is where I want my camera to exist and live whenever it's not being triggered. So this is the general overview of the parking area. So I'm going to choose this little arrow to expand the menu. I'm looking for that little gear wheel icon in the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to make sure that there's a one in this box and I'm gonna hit setting. Now, the camera will confirm this is correct by showing a preset one, two, three, four, whatever you've entered on screen right here. So I've seen that preset one, I know I've set it. Now it's time to set the second preset. So this is the one I want to zoom in on the entrance to our parking area. So I'm gonna put this location right here. And whenever I've got it, I'm going to go back to that setting. I'm gonna enter a two into this box and I'm gonna click that button. Again, you should see preset two appear on screen. Finally, my third preset needs to be put over where my Eastern camera is looking for that tripwire. So I'm gonna move it over into the position on the corner here and then we're going to set up preset three this time. You guys can double check your presets by entering preset one, two, or three in this little box. And if you press this camera icon, it actually takes you to the given preset. So this is a really fast way to go to any preset on your PTZ, or in this case, just make sure the presets look good. All right, now that we've got all three presets set up, now we're ready to set up the trip wires on the two cameras. Now, before you go into the main menu, it's important to know which channels you're dealing with. So as you can see, D6 and D1, those are my fixed angle cameras, and D7 is my PTZ camera. This is important to know once we're in the main menu because there won't be a reference. So you're gonna have to know which channel your particular camera is living at. So let's go ahead and go to the main menu. So we're gonna right click and choose main menu here. Once we're in the main menu, we're going to go to AI. So go ahead and left click that. Then we're gonna left click on parameters on the left side and then smart plan. We're gonna activate the smart plan for channels D6 and D1. Those are my fixed angle cameras. So remember to hit apply before you move on to the next channel. 
Okay, now that I've got Smart Plan activated for D6 and D1, I'm going to go to IVS on the left side. So now on D1, I'm going to add a rule by clicking Add. That's going to create a tripwire rule. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw that tripwire. So I'm going to put my tripwire at the end of the walkway, just like so. And I'm going to go from B to A. This means it's only going to trigger if people are leaving the building rather than entering the building. And then I'm going to hit OK here. All right, once we're back at the IVS screen, we've got one more step here. I'd like you guys to click on the trigger icon that is up top that looks like a little gear wheel. And it's going to open up this menu. We're going to look for PTZ linkage. Go ahead and put a blue check mark in there. And I'm going to have you guys click on the settings box next to it. So for this section, remember my PTZ is on camera 7 or channel 7. So wherever your PT is at, go ahead and select that one. And then I'm going to choose preset 3. So because this is my east side camera, whenever it's triggered, I want my PTZ camera to go to preset 3. So that is what I'm choosing here. Once you've got that selected, hit OK. And then we're going to hit apply on the screen. Now we want to go to channel D6. This is my driveway camera. Again, we want to go to the add rule. We're going to draw the trip wire just like so. And I'm going to put it right across the entrance here. When you're done drawing it, go ahead and press OK. And then again, we're going to go into the trigger settings, the gear wheel icon. OK, we're going to activate PTZ activation. Again, we're going to choose D7 or whichever your PTZ is on. And this time I'm going to choose preset 2. That is the one that I set up to zoom in to the entrance of the driveway. So once I have that chosen, I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Apply. OK, once that's done, we're going to go to the live view and we're ready to test these triggers. So now it's time to walk outside and see if your camera's moving around. So let's go test that out. Okay, now that we're back, you guys might have noticed one thing. The camera did trigger on the left and the right side. However, it's not returning back to preset 1. This is where it gets a little complicated. So we need to actually log into the camera itself. We need to adjust a critical setting so that when this camera is idle for a certain amount of time, it returns back to preset 1. So to do this, we need to log into your guys' camera. If your camera is connected directly to your NVR, we'll need to log into your NVR first. If you guys have a camera that's running off a switch, then you simply just need to acquire the IP address for the camera and log into it. To get the IP address of your NVR, simply go to the main menu, go to Network, and then TCP IP. It should show it right there. So in this case, mine is 192.168.0.112. If you guys need to find the IP address for the camera, go to the main menu, select camera, then on the registration list, scroll down to your guys' channel and it should have the exact IP address for that channel. So for those of you that have the camera directly plugged into the NVR, it should be 10.1.1. something, and we're gonna show you guys how to log into the camera if that's the case. This process can be done with a computer or a phone, so I'm gonna show you guys both simultaneously. So whichever you guys feel is easier, go ahead and just choose that option. Keep in mind, whichever you pick, they have to be on the same network or connected to the same router as your guys' NVR or your PTZ camera. So we're going to punch in the IP address for your guys' NVR. So 192.168.0.112 for me. And you'll see that it takes me to the login screen for the NVR. I'm gonna log in with my admin username and my password. Then once we're in the main menu for the NVR, we're going to select setting up in the upper left corner. Now it might be zoomed in like mine, so you kind of have to zoom out or you need to move over to that corner section. Click on setting and then click on camera. This is going to take you to the camera registration. Now we need to look down and find the PTZ camera. So I'm going to look for D7. Then scroll to the right and you should see a blue Internet Explorer icon. Go ahead and click on this and it should automatically open up a new tab and take you to the login screen for your camera at this point. Now this will work if it's directly connected to the NVR or if it's on a switch. Okay, once we are in the camera, we're gonna log in with the exact same username and password as your NVR. 
Okay, once we're in, we're gonna click setting in the upper right corner. Go ahead and navigate to the far left side. We're gonna click on PTZ. Then once it's revealed, we're gonna click on function. This is gonna give us a whole host of options to the right. Okay, then if you look right here, we're gonna click on idle motion. Now these options are basically what we want our PTZ to do if it's been standing still for too long. So for this case, in this example, I want it to go to preset one. So I'm going to enable it, and then I'm gonna choose preset number one. And then I'm also gonna change the duration from 10 minutes to one minute, because I want it to go as fast as possible. One minute is the shortest amount of time you can set it to. So once I've made my choices, I'm gonna hit save, and then you're gonna see save succeeded right here. Once it says save succeeded, if your camera's not at the designated location, after about 60 seconds, you should notice it return to the preset, just like so. Keep in mind, if you guys end up choosing a tour or a scan, you guys are gonna have to set that up prior to coming to this page, but just choose whichever one is best applicable for your situation, and then make sure you're hitting save before you leave this page. All right, guys, that wraps it up for PTZ activation. Hopefully you were able to follow along okay, and you're now seeing your camera trigger on all those tripwires. If you guys wanna leave any comments below, I'd like to hear what you guys think of the masterclass in general, or if you guys ran into any issues that I might not be aware of. Of course, don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. We are gonna be coming out with masterclass episode two real soon, and that should actually focus on custom audio for your guys' active deterrence and speaker-enabled cameras. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Thanks for joining us here at Montague, guys, and have a fantastic day.